run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Avorion. Alright guys, we're picking up where we left off. And in the last one, we were refining, we were mining, we had found, uh, just found Neonite. So we did some upgrading to our ships, to our fleet. And I'm about to do some upgrading to this one as well. Um, also, I've been figuring out more about the AI and how you can actually add multiple functions. I wasn't doing that, but I figured out now how to properly do that. So I'm about to do some upgrading here. Now, I haven't been blueprinting a lot of my ships and I need to do that. I had a couple people ask about them. This one is one of my, it's not technically mid-level, it's like early mid. You probably got like early, you got your early basic ship, your early mid, and then your early top level. Then you got your mid early, mid like, and then you got your late game early. So this is still like a small time ship, but this one will at least get you through like the nay and I level where you could actually still fight with some ships, move, have some speed, um, has a little bit of cargo room and things of that nature. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually rename this because this was the ship that was uh, given to us. And so it's the lady. And what I did, I took the ship they gave us, broke it down, left it as like the brain of the ship, and I built around it. So this was gonna be the, see, let me check my fleet. I got the macro men, the STM macro. This will be the Macrodon Mark II, all right? And I wanna set this class into the class of your ship. I don't get that but I'm gonna call this an early, mid. My levels are gonna be early, mid game, late game. So this is an early, mid. You have an early, early, <laughs> early, mid, early, late. You're gonna have a mid, early, mid, 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 late, and then late, early, late, mid, late, late. That's the way I'm gonna do it. I need to also start an alliance, but I have not done that, but we will do that in the future. And maybe we can also, form an alliance and I want to in the future do a uh, server or a world that we play together and I get some of you guys who watch and you support we'll play our own world we will have our own home sector we'll fight defend we'll build and we'll go out and figure out a way to take over the galaxy collectively and just have fun and I can highlight ships that people make um, as we play now I'm also gonna look through my saved ships save designs and I want to see if they have some of mine ship auto saves okay okay so it does have all of my ships so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some of these i'm gonna bring some of these in and i'll put them um on the workshop for some of you guys that like some of the earlier builds that i created because they're very functional okay i like that they auto save these too i like that they auto save these different designs that is dope that is dope so okay i will upload some of these i'm gonna figure this out but i'm gonna upload some of these to the workshop browse workshop save template save current design and shout out to all my folk who have asked about designs um yeah i'm gonna get those i gotta figure that out but i'm gonna go ahead and upload so what i'm gonna do is upload some different versions and i'll let you know which ones i have up and ready to go these are like i said like an early game they're very lightweight very functional they do the job that you need i'm gonna work on doing more complex ships later even though i'm more of an explorer and a fighter and less of a ship builder um, I'm going to put some of these up for you guys that are interested. All right. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So I definitely want to increase my jump range. I see that my AI hasn't really kicked in where we're earning like that. But I am going to add some hyperspace core so I can increase the sector on this one. And I'm going to put it up under here. I actually need to finish deleting all of this. Okay. I had to delete a lot of this that was up in there. So now I want to add these hyperspace cores, but I don't have enough money. Now I actually can throw a strip up under here, but I'm going to really have to hurry up and sell some to uh, make some money back. That'll give us 2.8 sectors. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if I have to move it, I will. That'll allow me to now program this one to go here and go back and forth because now I can jump far enough. Before I couldn't jump far enough, but I could have did two commands, but I didn't know. But now before I end up uh, paying I am gonna go and sell some resources while we're right here. Uh, we just received 35,000 iron from the refinery. Goodness, goodness. Let's go ahead and trade. And we still get a decent rate here. So I'm gonna sell 
30,000. There you go. Put us up over 130,000. Now we making that good money. And the STM, shout out to Solias, because he put such a large cargo on there, we were able to refine, uh, excuse me, we are able to, oh, I can sell this 8,000. Let me go on and get this bonus. Deliver 8,000 titanium, I'm gonna sell that too. There we go, that's another 96,000. But because he put such a large cargo on there, we're able to mine and harvest, and we'll be able to sell quite a bit. So that's what's up, we in the game right there. Now I can upgrade this ship a little more because we have some money and I should still be okay with paying the crew. All right, so what we gonna do next, we gonna add this shield generator right here. We're gonna add this shield generator. Cause we gotta keep customizing, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to upgrade and, and get this caliber up. So bring down this Neonite generator. Um, titanium, titanium is actually lighter but the uh, neonite produces a little more. So I am gonna add some titanium generators right here. And this is just another dope part of Vorion where you can just transform. So I'm gonna transform uh, the frameworks. This is one of the really, really dope elements. All right, so I am going to add a generator right here on top because we just need a little bit more uh, energy. And I'm, let me go on and double that up. Let me go on and double that up. Let me go on and double that up. Then let me go on and merge these two. Okay. So, okay, we merged them good. That usually gives you a little more energy or efficiency out of it. Let me go on and throw a little paint on here as well. Throw a little paint on here. All right. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and add some framework right here and do them vertically or going in the forward rear direction. Make them a little slimmer. That way I have a little leeway with what I want to add in there in the future. We definitely trying to future proof. Definitely trying to future proof. Okay. And I'm going to put one of these energy containers. We'll make one of the energy containers. Somebody let me know in the comments if you understand the energy containers. Well, I know it's like a battery, kind of like expanding your battery or storage. But is it really useful or do you just need to always add more generators and as long as you double or triple or even quadruple your generator amount, your generator energy, you should be good. Alright, so I'm trying to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of dimension to this vessel. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the triangle and turn it and add it down here just to give it a little bit of feel. Again, I'm working on my build and I'm practicing. To, to get my bills to have you know more of a ship all around build instead of you know just just making them look a little funky I'm trying to make it look a little funky all right so I added that added these little hull flaps in the front and I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of that here just adding these triangular shapes just to give it a little more contour just to give it a little more flavor that's all right right there though Okay. Yeah, do I want to put this in here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm debating. I'm debating. Oh, look at the glow. Look at the glow of my shield though. Look at the glow of my shield. When you got that glow. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay, so let me see. We got my home sector. Still got my STM macro up there. Shout out to Celias the Mage for this build. And is he mining? I think I do have. Okay, I got him refining ore, mining asteroids, and then kind of looping that. Now, I don't know if you need to do it multiple times or what, but I'm going to go ahead and bring him down. I'm going to stop him because he's really right there in that home sector, which, as we know, it's only iron and titanium. We want to get him down here towards the neonite or at least in an area where it's predominantly titanium so I can kind of keep adding titanium to our um, to our stockpile but I'm gonna get them down here and get them closer to the fleet we eventually gonna bring all of the fleet together so I can do a little testing you know either we rolling and we attacking and I got some back as far as uh, the ships attacking uh, I don't want my ships to get blown up though, but I do want to challenge them and maybe challenge one of them pirates that attack where they had like five, six pirates. But I don't know if they'll dodge and move around the way I would or if they just sit there 
move in slow and just shoot and take a bunch of damage. I don't really know how the AI does with fighting, but I guess we're going to have to find out. So again, we're going to keep moving uh, him down further and get him closer, get him in the round. Yeah, what is it doing? Now, sometimes the fact that the icons pop up down there and they're kind of in the way, that could have been done a little better. I mean, I see what they're doing and having it right under is useful, but it is still over the grid. So when you're trying to map out the locations of where you're trying to go, it is somewhat in the way. It is somewhat in the way. All right. We coming on down, getting a little closer. I do have my first ship, the original uh, ship that we started with down. It's a little north, but it's still over east. And that was the first one that made it to Avorion. Uh, excuse me, Avorion is the the main resource. Uh, to Zayanite. To Neonite. I'm trying to get it right. That was the first one to make it to Neonite. All right, cool. We getting them down to the sector where I am currently located yeah I wanna I wanna go battle some of those pirates but I'm gonna try to do something like find a scrapyard and bring the fleet in and see if we can find a lot of equipment drops because since I have it three or four ships all scrapping at the same time salvaging at the same time we should get a lot of good drops we should get a lot of good drops yeah okay that's the macro men that is the original and that's one of the, it's a well-built ship too. It's very, very mobile, very agile, does well with fighting with the weapons. And now that it has shields, it's even better. All right. So we have him mining asteroids, refining ores, mining asteroids. I'm going to make it refine ore. I just want to make sure it doesn't get stuck. If you only do like two commands and then loop, it seems like it gets stuck where it doesn't keep going. So I'm going to do at least four commands, even if they're the same commands and then hit loop and hopefully that will keep going and even if it doesn't at least I know it did it a few times so that I was making some money and making them resources so I can sell and make some money you know what I'm saying and let me know if you're familiar with that with the loop function and um, how that works and what it does alright okay um we trying to get together oh we at the same spot we already at the same spot. Yeah, we already at the same location. So where my guy at? Where you at? Where you at? There they go. There they go. There you go. There you go. What's up? Let's see. I want to tell him. Oh, the resource depot. That ain't what I'm. Oh, I got to click. The last thing I was uh, highlighted was the resource depot. You still got to click with your middle mouse button on the new thing you want to talk to. Just facing it don't always work. But we're going to go on a ride this way. Now, you notice how my thrusters are white at the top, but then at the bottom, you got the green. I'm testing it out a little bit, but that was because the green is neonite. So I added some thrusters just to the bottom of the current thrusters. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling like I want to, I just want to adjust this more. I want to like try to experiment more to get my building the way I want it. Or again, just to make a more in-depth build. So let's see here. Let's see here. Let me try to work with the colors a bit. See if that brings out another uh, level to the design. I really like that. Trying to use some different hues. Make it gradiate a little bit. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And why are these trinium blocks down here? Did I pull trinium blocks down there by mistake? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. 
All right, so let me give this ship some orders while we are here. You go ahead and mine. Go ahead and mine this area while I figure out what's next. Okay, so I'm going to do some more building. Show y'all a little bit of the way this ship turns out. Yeah, I'm not sure why that trim is right there. And I'm low on titanium, so I'm going to have to add some iron. Eh. Now, this is just some experimentation. I'm just trying some things to help modify this one and, and again, give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. So, you see I'm adding more hull to it. Adding more hull to the outside, which gave it a more enclosed look because I put it over the thrusters. Now I'm adding it to the top. And really just trying to see. Trying to figure out how to make it more starshipy, man. If you got tips, if you got building tips, if you are a builder, let me know. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. So, okay. These are like slats of wood. You know, I know a little bit about going to Lowe's or, you know, Home Depot, getting them slats of wood for my whole projects. Eh, I'm trying to think. The front of this thing look kind of like the face of like a Muppet or something. <laughs> That's like the nose and the... <laughs> like something on Fraggle Rock or something. Okay. You see that? And like the little blue slat on the bottom like the eyebrows. All right, anyway, anyway, or, or Autobot, like uh, Optimus Prime or something. So I'm trying to see if colors will help, if deviating the colors, or um, differentiating the colors, you know, just adding more to it will help. You know, maybe layering, maybe, like I can say, like some gradient type of hues. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We're going to keep modifying it, seeing what we can come up with. All right, so now from the rear, this looks dope. I mean, the, the backside is dope. Oh, man, did I hit a... Oh, man, what happened? So it, it's looking like... Oh, man, I'm wrecking this joint. Doggone it. So the... So it needed a lot of crew. I am needing crew. I was going to say from the rear, it looks dope. I made that look kind of cool with the way the thrusters looked or the engines looked. That's kind of funky. Um, now, we're still needing more thrust and, you know, more yaw, more pitch because it added a lot of weight to it. So, I was pulling here to try to get some more crew. I need some crew badly. Badly. All right. So, let me get all these mechanics. But because I didn't have crew, the control was horrible because I don't have mechanics. I don't have engineers. I need lieutenants. Uh, I need my joint above lieutenant. Like, yo. Okay, that wasn't enough. Let's get all of these. Wow, that still ain't enough. Did we buy them? Oh, you must be docked. I ain't docked. Man, I hate when that happens. Like, you get real close and you try to dock and then it don't work. Okay, cool. So, that was enough mechanics. But now I need some engineers. And I also... Oh, this thing. So, it's very tanky now. I made a joint that's very tanky. And I, I like having the fast fleet. I don't even know how well tanks work on here, you know. It may be that they're too slow and you can still get ate up by a lot of bullet fire if they're coming at you with a fleet. Um, a lot of games tanks do work, but you know, no. I was liking the, the speed. I was liking the flyby. I'm going to definitely have to upgrade these iron joints too, though, because that's heavy in itself. So if I can at least upgrade them to titanium. Uh, okay, cool. So they got 20 engineers. So let's go on over here. Check on these engineers. Cause, oh, this flight is horrible. Horrible. Yeah, we definitely, definitely got to get the crew. And get crewed up. Cause this jammy is hurting. Uh, where's my docks? Okay, over here. About to say, where's my docks? 
Okay. Let's hire some more crew. Good. Let's get 20. Dang, that's... Oh, okay. I only got five. Ten? That ain't enough. Goodness. How many engineers do I need? Yo, I guess all the stuff I added made it so I need a whole lot more engineers. I'm going to get some gunners. Okay. Dang. Got me some more miners. Man, how many engineers do I need? Okay, they got eight right there. Cool. And they got a um, lieutenant. So we're going to get these eight. And we're going to add a lieutenant. If I don't smash into something else. Doggone it. Doggone it, man. I got to get this thing right or I'm going to have to take off some of this stuff. This weight is... <laughs> it's really throwing it off. Yo, yo, some of y'all are good builders, man. Let me know in the comments. Give me some tips on what I can do to make this shit better because it is mad clunky. Mad clunky. Goodness. All right, let's go on and hire some more engineers. Bam. Oh, that still ain't enough. And now I need more crew space. Yo, now I need more crew space. Oh man, it done knocked off one of my engines. Like this is wild. This is wild. Uh where's my crew? Oh, and that's right, I need iron, which is gonna make this thing even heavier. Crew quarters, here we go. Let's see if maybe I can just add a little bit with the uh Okay, okay. So to the titanium crew quarter, since it don't cost as much, I'm gonna go ahead and did I do it? Transform. I must not have. Oh, I got to repair my ship. I can't edit it till I repair it. 3,000 iron, 2,000. Oh, and I need more titanium. Doggone it, guys. I cannot repair right now. Okay, guys. All right, all right, all right. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. I need credits and I need titanium. I can't even repair this ship. It's a clunker and it's crazy. So I got to get with some of my other ships and sell some. Uh, Cause I mean, I have plenty of inventory. I just got to sell some nay and night, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Even if I got to do it for the cheap, you know, and lose out down here in this area where we're not as friendly. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let me let me figure this out. I'm gonna think this out. But hit me in the comment box, guys. Hit me in the comment box. Any tips, any info, you know, it's always, always appreciated. All right. Let me know what you suggest on building and just what I'm running into right now with the rigs and the running out. Oh man, and uh, and smashing, breaking off half of my ship. Oh, uh, now pirates are attacking the sector. All right, all right. Yeah, guys. Let me see. Hold on. Let me let me check this thing with the pirates real quick. See how we can navigate this. Uh, where's my other ship? Okay. Uh, and they are they attacking the thing I'm at right now? How close is that? Yeah, they attacking this station that I'm at right now. They coming to the resource depot. Oh man, I gotta get this ship away. Where's my other ship? I don't even see them. I mess around and run into another dog on asteroid. Oh, they shooting at me. They shooting at me. They shooting at me. Oh, goodness. Now, see, you shooting at me and I'm jacked up. Now, I got to let you have it. Now, I got to let you have it. Uh. Uh. Take that. Take that, take that, take that. Oh, let me watch out. Let me watch out. <laughs> let me watch out. Oh, man. Oh, man. I done lost one of my wangs. I'm losing generators, thrusters, the whole nine. I need crew. Oh, man. Pirate still here getting attacked. Yo, this is a Vorian, baby. This is a Vorian, baby. 
All right, guys. So, so as I was saying, man, I'm going to deal with these pirates. I know they'll kind of get dealt with uh, by the uh, the frigates here. Whew. So, again, make sure you like, guys. Let me know what you think about this episode. Let me know what you think about the goings on and the craziness that can ensue in this game. All right. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Share this so others can check this out guys it's much appreciated it is much appreciated and i'm gonna come back and figure out how to get this ship running get the crew for it and then we're gonna carry on pick up where we leave off all right charles mackerel of orion thank you for stopping through and i'm gonna holla at you Peace. i run the game i run the game i run the i run the macro my name i run the game